Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it came out, it came about because it's a, uh, for me, it's a story that had to be said or needed to be said, and, and nobody was saying it. And uh, it just got to be a matter of I wanted desperately for this type of thing to be said to the public or sh shown to the public. And so through, through uh, our concerts and what I've seen on the road, I decided to write Chastity. I hate to give a synopsis on a story personally because if you gave a synopsis on Romeo and Juliet, it would sound very dull and very boring. The story deals with today's contemporary girl. It deals primarily with, with, with the psychological and social problems that, that exist with today's contemporary. We see life through the eyes of a contemporary girl, what they have to go through and what they don't have to go through. And hopefully, I'm trying to point out that today's girl's life is not a bed of roses. In Chastity's case, the, the main theme, the main plot is Chastity, as many contemporary girls, continually make a circle. They go around in a circle, and we call it spinning wheels. They go absolutely nowhere, and this can take a year to go in one complete circle and acquire a lot of what I call psychological scars. Uh, these scars stay with a young girl after she gets married later on in life, and then she must cope with them, uh, depending on what she gets involved with. Uh, some girls get involved with... Uh, uh, free sex, some get involved with homosexuality, some get involved with drugs. Uh, they get involved with everything today. These accumulate scars. When they're old enough to realize what happened and when they get out of this circle, it's very awesome. That basically is what the movie is about. Well, Cher plays the lead. Beside the lead, I casted people whose names wouldn't be recognized, and there's a reason for that as well. Uh, there are a lot of fine actors and actresses in town that don't get the opportunity to, to, to get a part in a movie because there are so many people with a so-called name. So, so these kids are going around town and they're not getting a chance. And it seems like a lot of our, our actors are coming over from Europe, our name actors, in the last 10 years. And uh, I tried to... Uh, to help other actors, other performers as well as uh, do what I was trying to do with the movie. So, so I wasn't particularly interested in names. Names don't mean anything to me. It's what, whether I believe the person on, this, on the screen. I think the, I'm, I'm almost positive the public's the same way. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm Cher's biggest fan, and it, it, that's hard to say because I'm a husband, and for me to, to boast about her... Is, is sounds very partial. I'm true, I am partial, but I'm very critical with Cher. I've always been critical since I've met her. I knew she was going to be a great singer when I met her, and I know she's going to be a great actress. Uh, Cher has that element that oh, th what I call the biggies have, the great stars have. She has that, that, that thing. We don't, we don't know how to define it. She has that certain something, and it comes across in whatever she does, whenever she does it well. And she, she understood chastity, and she understood the girl in this movie, and uh, she portrayed her perfectly, you know, because she knew th this girl. So, I, you know, I, I, for me, Cher is going to be the next big, big young star to come along. I hope so, too. Thank you very much.